I am the seriously weird Ash from What Culture, and these are 10 seriously weird horror movies that deserve your attention. 10. Possum The feature debut from Matthew Holness, the creator of cult British TV show Garth Marenghi's Dark Place, Possum is an unsettling and hypnotic tale of disgraced children's puppeteer Philip. Philip returns to his childhood home, where he's confronted by his traumatic past, and attempts to destroy the titular, nightmarish puppet, but despite his best efforts, he can't escape his past, or Possum, who always seems to find a way back to him. Premiering at Edinburgh International Film Festival in 2018 before having a very limited cinema release, Possum enjoyed a generally positive reception from critics but has gathered a pretty mixed one since, with some writing it off as too strange and slow, where others have applauded it for its skin-crawling visuals, twisted tales, and surrealist tone which is aided in no small part from Doctor Who's Radiophonic Workshop. A small film with a distinct vision, Possum is one of the best British horror films you probably haven't seen. And this is not even mentioning the puppet itself, which is every arachnophobe's worst nightmare. Seriously, it's really rank. It's horrible. 9. Murder Me Monster Opening with a long and extremely graphic shot of a slit-throat woman desperately trying to stay alive, the Argentinian Murder Me Monster is definitely not for those with a sensitive disposition. Set in a rural area near the Andes, this film sees police officer Cruz descend into a feverish nightmare when attempting to find the killer of the aforementioned woman. A breadcrumb trail involving a motorcycle gang, geographical codes, and the phrase murder me monster that appears throughout its investigation. Blending the murder mystery and monster movie with a dash of Twin Peaks for good measure, murder me monster manages to be simultaneously sickening and stunning at once. If you like the sound of Cronenberg body horror meets Lynchian nightmare, then this is one to look out for, whenever it gets distribution in the UK at least. 8. Ext Hair Extensions Horror can make any everyday object terrifying. Cars, dolls, tires, and most recently a sofa, just to name a few. However, perhaps the most bizarre object to get a horror makeover comes in the form of hair extensions in 2007's Ext, Hair Extensions. Coming from the mind of writer, director, and poet Sion Sono, creator of J-Horror Gem Suicide Club, Ext follows apprentice hairdresser Yoko where she comes into contact with the lethal locks when they are sold to her by a trichophile. That is, someone with a hankering for hair who becomes obsessed with her hair. But when the aforementioned accessories are acquired from the stolen corpse of a dead girl, insanity is soon to follow. Oh, and the hair lets the wearer see the moments of its owner's death, too, just for good measure. Complete with bleeding hair, imaginative, hair-raising deaths, eccentric performances, and a pretty compelling mystery to boot, this is one of the weirdest examples of Japanese cinema out there. It is one that really grows on you, like hair does. Zing. 7. The Incredibly Strange Creatures Who Stopped Living and Became Mixed Up Zombies Also known by the shorter and equally strange title that is literally Will? This 60s monster movie musical is just as gloriously ridiculous as the names might suggest. Regarded as one of the worst films ever made, this so bad it is good schlockfest has sadly fallen into almost complete obscurity, only known to the biggest connoisseurs of cult cinema. When a group of friends take a day trip to a seaside carnival, they find themselves in the presence of occultists who plan on using hypnosis to turn them into mindless killers and imprison them there. It is cheap, contains acting that makes Tommy Wiseau look good, and operates by its own strange logic, but somehow, it just works. It was even featured on an episode of Mystery Science Theatre 3000, so you know it's worth checking out by that alone. Probably. 6. Ravenous Ever since Danny Boyle released 28 Days Later in 2002, zombie movies have swarmed contemporary cinema in characteristic fashion. While some filmmakers have been able to put their own fresh twist on the genre, none have been as offbeat as French-Canadian writer-director Robin Aubert's Ravenous. And no, I'm not talking about that Guy Pearce 1999 one either. Winning Best Canadian Film at 2017's Toronto International Film Festival, Ravenous is set in rural Quebec some time after a zombie outbreak, as it follows a ragtag group of survivors journey through the surrounding countryside in search of shelter and rescue. Full of great makeup and gore effects, the director digs deep into real human connections to make a genuinely intriguing narrative. But what will make this film stick with you the most is its strange sense of humour, with no shortage of bonkers imagery. 5. Begotten there are abstract horrors out there like It Comes at Night, and there are all-out gore fests like Blood Feast. And then there's Begotten, a vile, stomach-churning, and surreal art house project. 
Originally intended as a theatre production but changed to film for budgetary reasons, Begotten is a metaphor for the death of God and birth of Mother Earth based on various creation myths. With the director citing the cabinet of Dr. Caligari and Seven Samurai as sources of inspiration, alongside the works of Arto and Nisha, Begotten certainly has a unique presence. Shot entirely in grainy black and white and with no dialogue whatsoever on top of its excessive violence, this film is hard to watch on every level. Which is why you want to watch it, surely, if you're here. 4. House There's no shortage of haunted house outings these days, with every Tom, Dick and Harry having a supernatural spectre bothering their loft. However, whilst many have tried in the wake of your poltergeist, Samityville horrors and changelings, none have come close to the sheer insanity of House since it appeared in Japanese cinemas in 1977. Produced by movie legends Toho, the studio approached director Obayashi to make a film similar to Spielberg's Jaws, but instead of an animatronic shark devouring the characters, this one-of-a-kind fantastical horror comedy sees a group of high school girls and a house. Mixing in everything from bubblegum pop, animation, painted backgrounds, kung fu and stop motion in a cinematic frenzy, House throws everything it has at the screen at once with everything managing to stick. This really needs to be seen to be believed. 3. The Happiness of the Katakuris What if The Sound of Music was a Japanese zombie film? Now, imagine it with some of the most outrageous claymation effects and musical sequences possible, and you have the happiness of the Katakuris. Directed by cult icon Takashi Miike, the genius behind Audition, Ichi the Killer, Gozu and Visitor Q, this wacky musical embodies the director's more ridiculous side, as it follows the titular family moving to a mountain inn where the guests all die in a mysterious fashion. While the film is a loose remake of the non-musical South Korean film The Quiet Family, the absurdist comedy and genuinely catchy songs will ensure the happiness of the Katakuris will remain stuck in your head. 2. A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night Dubbed as an Iranian vampire western by filmmaker Anna Lilia Mirpour, but shot entirely in Southern California without a single cowboy vampire in sight, this critically acclaimed gem is more of a love story akin to Let the Right One In. Cowboy vampires would be more than welcome, but this is still a pretty good compromise, all things considered. The plot centers around the blossoming relationship between the eponymous girl, played by Sheila Vand, a vampiric vigilante who protects vulnerable women on the crime-ridden night streets of Bad City, and Arash, who unwittingly gets wrapped up in the city's criminal underbelly. Presented in an atmospheric black and white and spoken in Farsi, this unconventional monster movie subverts traditional Western horror tropes on their head, especially those of the monstrous feminine variety. Beautifully shot with a soundtrack just as breathtaking, this marked a spectacular cinematic debut for a mere poor. 1. A Field in England Helmed by Kill List director Ben Wheatley, king of all things thoroughly British and batch 2013 psychological horror A Field in England follows a group of soldiers and an alchemist assistant in the 1600s during the English Civil War in search of an alehouse. Some would argue it doesn't quite fit the horror mold, but to them I say, watch that tent scene again and come back to me. In either case, on the group's travels, they're recruited to recover a hidden treasure by a rival alchemist, but not after he encourages them to take some hallucinogenic mushrooms. Then things get mushroomy. Utilising psychedelic editing techniques such as rapidly intercutting between two images, manipulating sound design and using Tableau, a field in England collides reality with unreality, creating a sensation of confusion and discomfort removed from time and place. Much like David Lynch's A Razor Head, Wheatley's film is a mind-bending fever dream that offers dozens of different interpretations. Weird, wacky and perhaps wonderful, it is an odd one that definitely deserves a little more love.